Hello patrons. Um, today I show you something special only for you. Um, in detail, I already posted some pictures of it on Instagram and Facebook, but today I wanted to talk a little bit exclusively to you about that topic. And that is the final modification of my personal sharp sword. As you know, over the last couple of years, I reassembled different parts of different swords and tried to make my own kind of perfect personal um, fighting sword. Um, it started with a simple blade, which I had from Spadroon. So it was kind of a narrow back sword blade, um, not a double-edged uh, Spadroon blade, uh, but more a Spadroon uh, yeah, with a thick back sword, um, um, a back sword blade. Very narrow, very light, um, so kind of more resembling uh, a Victorian period um, uh, back sword, but also um, I know there are a couple of um, maybe I will put some pictures in between, but there are a couple of uh, late 18th century um, broadswords um, or back swords in the Highland style which uh, have um, pretty narrow blades. So, not to say that this didn't exist, but I think for a proper back sword, this blade was a little bit too narrow. It was very light and swift, so for a dueling weapon, perfect. Um, but I always was thinking about having another blade. Um, then the basket hilt. I had a basket hilt, which was from a Victorian period sword. I'm not really sure if this was a replica or if it was um, really an old one. Um, I assume it was an old one, but could could have been a replica as well. And if it was a replica, it was a very well-made one. The basket hilt, though, was a little bit too tight from the side here on my hand. Um, and so this was a start. Um, parts fitted perfectly together and I let my father make a new handle for it because the handle did not work out. So next stage was that I got um, the Angelo uh, training broadsword by Balefire Blades. And because I was so happy that we, we created the sword together um, with, um, with Chris Adams and um, <clears throat> the final result was re is really a very good training broadsword and especially the basket hilt which is based on two different historical examples but turned out a little bit simpler from the design because more functional, more practical um, and it's really sturdy. And what I did was to make the uh, to ask Chris if he has a spare basket hilt or can make one, just the basket hilt um, for my um, sharp broadsword. So I wanted to make an Angelo fitting my training broadsword, but in a sharp version. I know most of the times it's the other way around. People have a sharp sword, maybe even an antique, and want to have a, a training version of that. In my case, it was the other way around. I loved the training version so much because, you know, you use it in training. I think it's not, not, not bad to go the other way around because if you have a good antique or sharp sword and you have the feeling that it feels really nice in your hands and you say, okay, I want to have this as a training version, there's a little bit of a risk, of course, that the different uh, blade thickness adds some weight on the blade, um, obviously because it is a blunt edge. Um, of course, a very good sword maker can take care of this. Um, however, the other way around, you have already a good training sword and you really tested it in combat, so in sparring fighting and regular training. And so you know that the weight and balance is perfect for you. So then making from that a sharp version is not the baddest idea. However, this is the Angelo basket hilt and I used this for my training sword. First of all, I had a simple cheese uh, which was part of the spadroon blade uh, I put into that. The handle was uh, a brown leather wrapped simple wooden grip um, and the pommel was still the one from the Victorian weapon um, or Victorian style weapon. But all parts fit perfectly. Later I got this liner from an old armor class which I really liked. It's more on the you know the half of the basket not the full one but it's very good. It's it's some kind of fabric, may, maybe even leather, but covered with uh, linen or something like that. Maybe it's even cotton, I don't know, but it's very sturdy and looks nice and feels good. Um, later I got uh, another, <laughs> I think it was a Deepika broadsword, um, looked very much like the um, Cold Steel Scottish broadsword, because 
as many of you know, uh, Deepika or Universal Swords makes a lot of stuff for Cold Steel and also for Windless. Um, and they have their own weapons, um, which are a little bit different, and uh, but you can see the design is obviously the same. So the Cold Steel or uh, Deepika Universal Sword Basket Hilt are used for a Cutlass. And the grip, however, and the sheath I used for my Angelo. So this was the next upgrade after putting a new basket hilt on it, the Angelo basket hilt and a new liner. Uh, then I got this sheath, which fitted, funny enough, quite well for the small, narrow, back sword uh, spadroon blade. And um, I also got a better pommel, because the pommel before that was obviously uh, silverish. Um, and this one was dark, and this also the metal parts of the sheath. This is a wooden, leather-covered wooden sheath. Um, and this fitted quite well to the style of the dark Angelo basket hilt. Now, the next step was, I always was happy with the blade, but I knew that it was obviously a little bit too light and wanted to a little bit have to more uh, a good back sword. And years ago, I had the, um, I had the Hanwai back sword, this one. And I always thought about using the blade of this one in this one. And this is, this is what I finally did. Well, now let's, let's have a look. So what I did here is putting the Hanwai backsword blade into the Angelo basket hilt. And it fits perfectly, okay? Nearly perfectly into the basket hilt from the dimensions. It's um, perfect from the balance, from the weight, from the sharpness. I really like the Hanwai backsword blade. It's much better than the broadsword blade because the broadsword blade is a little bit, especially with a kind of small basket hilt, um, is a little bit too heavy, top heavy. Maybe not a bad uh, broadsword for test cutting. Uh, maybe you can shorten it a little bit or maybe you can use it together with a touch, then it is okay. But for single sword fencing, the back sword blade of Hanwai is 10 times better, in my opinion at least. And it fits perfect in the basket hilt of uh, the Angelo style made by Balefire Blade. So I have now the Hanwai backsword blade, the sharp version, in the Angelo basket hilt, still with the Armor Class liner, still with the Deepika sheath and the Deepika pommel. Um, the, this one here, I had to use the one uh, from uh, Hanwai because the old one did not fit from the length and everything, but this fits perfect. And I also decided to use the Hanwai um, grip because it just feels a little bit nicer and hence looks a little bit more elegant and also it was fitting better the blade. So with the Deepika grip I had a little bit of fear that it could crack after using it. Now this feels really perfect and nice. Quite happy with it. Is this the final stage? I think so. So maybe, maybe what I would like to change is the so the tank screw down here, but only maybe, but I think, yeah, I'm quite sure that this is the final stage. If nothing goes wrong with test cutting and everything, this will be my final stage of my self-assembled broadsword. How is weight and balance? Wonderful. It is, of course, because of the blade thickness and everything, heavier than the version I made before with a spadroon blade, but that was expected but still the very sturdy basket hilt of the Angelo and the blade, they are perfect together. So this is now a really good back sword for single sword fencing, but also with an offhand weapon like a touch or something. So yeah, really happy with that. As you know, uh, reduce, reuse, recycle. Um, what did I do with the rest I had from the Hanway back sword? For the moment, I made this. I used the spadroon blade. You can see the difference now, okay, the width, the length is identical, but, and, and the back, I to turn it around for you, the back of the blades is also kind of the same thickness, close to, but obviously the Angelo, uh, sorry, the, <laughs> the Hanwai is uh, much broader, especially in the base. Um, so what I did here was just, you know, for fun, I used the Deepika Universal Swords grip. I used the pommel and the this I had from another Hanwai sword 
uh, the screw for the tank. I fit this into. I missed to put a leather here. I had didn't have something, but I can you know redo that. And the basket hilt is based on a historical example from the design, especially with this kind of yeah Celtic god or what it is meant to be. Um, so this is based on a on a original um, from the design. It's really nice, and I put the light uh, spadrunish uh, backsword blade in it. And now this is really, again, a very nice and swift um, fencing sword. Um, perfectly made for dueling, an example. Perfectly made for when you met, meet a spadroon or maybe a, a, a small sword even in combat. So this is really nice. Almost like, like what I would say the war sword and uh, together with Tarch and everything. And this would be the dueling sword and the sword I would use um, yeah, for everyday carry because it's light. So the sheath is not fitting perfectly, it's a little bit loose because this is the Hanwai backsword sheath. And for that, this is still a little bit loose. Uh, I think I will find a way to change that. However, this is just an in-between state. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I will sell it like this, okay? But also I have the idea to reuse this for uh, cutlass. And at the moment I'm waiting for a sharp cutlass blade by Windlass, which might be from the weight balance and thickness fitting in here. So this could become a cutlass, basket hilted cutlass, or um, like the grenadier uh, hangers, the basket hilted hangers we can see on so many uh, um, period paintings from the mid 18th century. So, this was just, okay, I still have the blade, I have the basket hill, let's build that together. And I was quite happy with the final result, but um, maybe I will turn this in something else. What was most important was this here, okay? So yeah, just wanted to give you an update from my yeah workshop uh, and my uh, reassembling and creating my own training broadsword or backsword. Now this is ready. Uh, for some test cutting and this is also ready for combat and this is yeah I think the final result which I'm really really happy with so yes thanks for your constant support really appreciate it and um, yeah let me think in the comments below also if you have some requests for other videos if you want to see more of tomahawk or backsword or broadsword and dagger or broadsword and touch just give me a note communicate with me and yeah tell me what I can do for you and um, what you maybe want to have in future videos, especially in Patreon videos. So thanks again and see you in the next one.